There's an exciting new book series called Alien in My Pocket that features do-it-yourself science experiments you and your kids can dig your hands into. And the author, Nate Ball, who is also the host of the PBS shows Design Squad and a Squad, and excuse me, Design Squad Nation, joins us with the details today. How are you, Nate? Doing so well, Don. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, you know, I told you over the break that I've got some little ones. I've got an almost six-year-old and a nine-year-old who would love these books. Tell me mm -hmm. why you created the, this series for young readers. Your kids are the perfect age for these books because I created the, the book for young readers just like your age's kids because, uh, you know, at that age and, and even younger and older, they're so curious about how the world works, just like I was when I was a kid. So when I was that age, all I wanted to do was explore things, learn stuff, and put things together and build things. So I wrapped all of those together, those interests of mine, into an engineering career, which I love, and it's so challenging and fulfilling. So I wanted to get younger kids also excited about engineering and science in the same way that I was as a kid. So the book series features not just an exciting plot where a little tiny alien invades Earth and crash lands into a fourth grader's bedroom, but in each story, the protagonists in the book actually undertake an exciting experiment themselves, go through it, have an adventure along the way, and then at the end of each book, there are instructions that I've written in for how you can recreate those experiments at home. I love this, and my kids are absolutely going to be thrilled with this. It'll give us something to do over the summer. Tell me about how you created these hands-on experiments. Well, the, the books um, that feature these hands-on experiments, I've written each book around the same experiments that I loved as a kid. So for instance, the first one, Blast Off, features the classic bottle rocket launching experiment. Now, when I was a fourth grader, this is the experiment that got me into science. It was a little more challenging than things I had done before, but the payoff was so exciting. Because what you do is you take a two liter bottle, empty it out of, uh, no more soda in there, and you gotta pressurize it with a bike pump. Now, you pump that thing up, put some uh, fins and a nose cone on it, stick a little water inside, and when it launches, it'll go about 100 feet in the air if you get the pressure up high enough. It is such an exciting hands-on experiment. And it gives lots of opportunities for kids, uh, like I did when I was a kid, to learn a bit. You know, it probably won't work perfectly on the first try, so you go back and you try again. And that process of iteration and of learning how to think methodically about how to accomplish a complicated task is the exact kind of skill set that sets you up for a successful career, whether you study engineering and science or not. Nate, tell me why, you know, kids are always so interested in science and they're interested in bottle rockets and all that good stuff, but some of us tend to lose that excitement mm -hmm. over time. Why do you think that is and what can, what can we do? Books like this to really get kids interested in it? Definitely, books like this and then just continuing to not be so afraid to let kids get out there and experiment themselves. You know, I was grateful to have uh, a set of parents that were very encouraging and they actually gave me a lot of leeway to do my own hands-on experiments at home and you know sometimes it ended in near disaster honestly um, but I think my, my parents had a great trust in that uh, it was going to be worth it and and it really was for me so not only should I you know I think should kids be getting to read books like I've tried to write um, to expose them to how fun the hands-on learning process can be but if we can try to keep reinforcing that not just with uh, the hands-on projects at home, but even more information in school, wrapping that hands-on stuff together. Because for me, it just transformed what my experience of learning was once I figured out that the science and math that I was learning in school actually would help me build the things I wanted to build better. And they helped me solve the problems that I wanted to solve. Well, I Closing love it. that loop. You're obviously is what made smart. It You're a great television host, but I heard something about you. You got to tell me about it a little bit. I heard you're like a world All right. competitive beatboxer. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, so I didn't quite make the finals for the American Beatbox Championships last year. I was 17th, and I need to be Whoa. in the top 16. So, fingers crossed for this year. All right, give but, us a taste. But you know, my beatboxing is, I guess, an example. Okay, so check it out. I, I applied a little science to this. So I'm going to do some bass tones, like <laughs> nice and low. Now some snares, <laughs> and put them together. <laughs> I practice that every day when I'm getting ready to do this. So that's awesome. No, that's really a great talent. So do I. That's so cool. Okay, tell me, awesome. tell me what's you. next in this series. Oh, yeah. So in book one, we've got Blast Off. It's based on the classic awesome rocket experiment. Book two is called The Science Unfair. And Zach, the fourth grader, has got to build a science fair project. So he builds an electromagnet, 
which the alien amp supercharges using his ship's power supply, havoc ensues. And then in book three, Radioactive, Amp tries to radio his home planet by building a super-powered trans uh, transmitter. So the experiment in the back of Radioactive is you can actually build your own simple radio transmitter to send a message from your cell phone into any nearby radio. Well, I love it. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nate. Thanks for having me, Don. And good I luck in that competition. <laughs> Take Thank care. Thank you. <laughs> and the Alien in My Pocket series is available online and in major bookstores.